Hey Jess, part two, and uh, let's see how I can do this, or if I can do this without screwing it up. <clears throat> it's not like a practice or anything, if you can't already tell. Okay, now we push the launch your Joomla site button. So this is where we get a freebie to play around with for the time being. So I don't know how long does this last for. I think it. I think you can keep logging back in playing with it um, because it's only using their an extension of their website anyway. But anyway, we'll enter the name. Add. Add. Launch now. The main check-in. So, yes, I was going to just put in that. Here we go, 3.1 stable, 4.2 stable, okay. Now, <clears throat> the newer the version, the less stable it is, okay. Yeah, 3.1, I'm imagining, is pretty stable. So I'd probably go with a slightly older one. Um, when you get to hosting, and we'll talk about that on the phone later, because I think it would actually be a good idea if you hosted your own site. It's only going to cost you $14 a month, but then you can host nine other sites, um, which means that you can take on clients and host their sites and charge them for hosting. Double bonus, uh, which pays for your hosting anyway, because only 14 bucks a month. All right, so we're going to go, we're going to select this one. You'll have to renew your website every month. Yes, yes, that's what I was going to say too. If you... If you do get hosting, you'll get emails saying there's a new version of Joomla. Would you like to install that and you install it and just make sure that, you know, any bug fixes are done. So anyway, we've selected this. Continue. First name. Okay, so it'll be important to put your um, email address in there because if, uh, we will all go through this another day, but anyway, let's. Password, phone number. Four. Oh God, I can't remember my own number. This is a Australia, what do you plan to build? Um, a dog house. I agree to the terms and conditions. Yeah, register. Okay, so I might even send something to my email address uh unlock premium features special time limited offer okay so we've just got to wait until this goes away now not now all oh, right there we go not now done all right <coughs> Sending stuff and doing things and having a cup of tea. Writing by zero. I swear it's almost done. Very, very funny. I've seen a few video games like that that have um chair yeah, moving satellites in here. Okay, it's ready to go, and your password's in there, so I'm going to save that, and uh, your free Joomla site is where you'll be directed, and uh, there we go, we're redirected. Now, okay, this is what they call verify your account, all right, okay, that's what I thought would happen. So we need to go to my... Um, 
email account. Oh no, it's not it. Here it is. Where is this? Hmm. In different ways of getting into the same thing. Um, okay, so here you go to an unblock region. So without access. Uh, do, 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 log in now. Any time. We should be playing the girl from Ipanema while we wait for this. Let, let's, let's get that up and ready to go. I wonder if it'll come through on your audio though. No. From. Onima. Oh, now. Ah. La, 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 la. This girl does a beautiful job. It'll be interesting to see if this comes through. Okay, so shut up and take my money. Oh. Is coming through? No. Nima goes walking. Uh, no, we want it. And when she oh. passes, each one she passes goes far. When she walks, she's like a samba that sway so cool. I hope we're still recording. I think we are. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry for that little intermode. No, stop. Stop. Oh. See, trying to do too many things at once. Anyway, I got. I hope this is still recording. I think it is. This number's ticking over. I got the number. Me, five, two, six, eight. All right. Verify. Token verification has been performed successfully. Yeah. So what does that mean? Ah, okay, it's all happening. Yay. <clears throat> it's special for you. No, I'd love a free call. No, let's just go away. Okay, all right. So getting back into this. This is our control panel. This is where we uh, do all our changings and everything, and then then where we tell it we want to look at things. So. Control panel. Oh no, 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 this is not. This is something else. This is a bit more like you'd see it if you were looking at it from your hosting. Uh, this is the actual site that's coming up, and this is taking a while to install. So that's what we're waiting for. And this will be something similar to that happens when you um, when you get hosting. You will go into your hosting and you'll tell it that you want Joomla and then that will have to install. So you'll push a button and then you'll have a weighty thing like this that says, yep, I'm installing Joomla and doing all, all the good stuff. And then we'll have our terminal. I didn't think it looked very familiar. It doesn't. It's been a while since I've played with Joomla. This will be good to get me back into it again. I shouldn't be so lazy, really. It's pretty easy making web pages for business, this sort of thing. Okay, here we go. There's the Joomla site. Uh, it's active. Renew, upgrade, terminate. Right. So let's see. These This cloud access might have a bit of a side hustle here where you learn how to use Joomla and then they go, right, do you want to buy this site now or buy your website but change the name? Anyway, let's click on this and see what happens. It should take us 
either to the terminal login or the website. Now here's the absolute actual website. Okay, so <clears throat> this is how it looks at the moment. So it's all very, very, very plain. This sort of confused the hell out of me for a while. But what we want to do is we want to log in so um, so that we can get to the terminal, uh, to the control panel. So I think my login will be my email. Uh, email .com. And then that, and then remember me and log in. Save. I hope that's it. And then we should get. Uh, okay. So we're home. How do we bloody well? I'm going to pause this for a second. Okay, I'm back. Uh, they sent me another email, cloud access, welcome aboard, no, 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 no. we need to go to the control panel and log in. So one link was to the website, and I thought you could click on something there and log in, but not with this one, not with this freebie, this you have to click on your website. Oh, okay, it brings us back to here. What else does the same instructions? Go to click the login button. Option one. Okay. Login. Yes. Okay, login here. Ah, we got it just, just as well. I'm helping you out to do this. Because I've got no idea, but now we do. Okay, this is looking more like the thing. Yeah, right. Okay. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Your Joomla control panel. New article, media. They might have changed things around. Oh, no, here we go. Good stuff up the top here. Your Joomla site. So. Whenever you want to preview your Joomla site, ju your Joomla, Joomla site, Joomla site, you push that button up the top. Because everything's changed here in the control panel, um, when you hit this button here, it shows you the actual site and what it looks like. So, okay. So, um, let's see, what sort of menus have we got in there at the moment? There's a home and whatever. Okay, so. Uh, menus, go to menu, and we can go to uh, add, we can add a menu. So let's add a menu. Okay, the menu type, uh, we're going to call it um, chicken. The title is chicken. Menu type, chicken description, uh, shows an article called chicken. Okay, so um, Site administrator, I'm a bit confused here. Um, site for the site, it's not for the administrator. Site, and oh, here we go save a new, save and close. Save that's it. So we save it. Oh, and actually, we can save and close, save and close, and it brings us back to here. And here under menus, we can see now that we've got main menu, user menu, and our chicken menu. Now, um, if we go and have a look at our site, Joomla, 
we've got no chicken menu, probably because we haven't published it. Add module for the menu published. No, it's not. So, side. Uh, we might have to go into it. Oh my God, I'm going to have to pause things again. <laughs> okay, so, uh, Jess, this should be back. Okay. I've had a bit of a play now and refamiliarized myself with a few things, which is probably what I should have done first. But anyway, regardless, um, I've made a couple of menu buttons and, I, and, and a couple of articles, and I've got them working, so I'll just have a quick look. Now, so your Joomla Joomla site. We've got up the top here, home chickens, and I wrote a small article called "Hello Burger and Dogs." Dogs are not cats. Okay, is that article? So we'll go back to home. It shows over here latest articles, popular. You can you can go in. You can get rid of these things, but we'll leave them there for the moment. Um, all right, so what I'll do is I'll do the most ba show you the most basic thing that you can do with this, and that is to make articles and make buttons to select the articles. So, uh, what I'll do is I'll go up to content and article. I want to add a new article. Now, there's various different types of articles that you can add. As we'll see later, but anyway, right now we'll call this one cats. Now, this is fantastic. See all of this business here. <clears throat> Joomla never used to have that. You recognize that it's just the setting formatting and so on, but there, yeah, Joomla never had that. You had to install a plugin to get it, and it was. Uh, there was because it didn't have one, there were several different ones, so it was confusing as to which was the best one, but uh, now it's just built in, thank goodness, so it means that I should be able to go cats, not dogs. And I should be able to do things like, you know, make it bold and make it red. Somewhere around here, there'll be a color. Um, you can also <clears throat> insert a photo. There'll be somewhere for that. You can insert modules, which we'll talk about another day. They're fun. Um, yeah, there we go. You can insert a picture, but for pictures, uh, you generally need to go into pictures, install pictures or images, install images, and then up here we've got objects, uh, options for links and such. So we can, I think, select that like that and then go to images and links and insert, you know, links to other things and so on. There we go. Uh, so let's go back to content. Um, then we'll save that, oh. and that'll go into our list of articles. So, close that and takes us back to our articles. And here we've got cats, dogs, chickens. Uh, and getting started was one that was in there. We can get rid of that if we wanted. We can untick that and just turn it off, or you can delete it. Uh, so, cats. Now, cats won't show up on the screen just at the moment. We need to make a button called cats. So, we'll go to menus and we want to add a new menu. Menu is going to be cats. Menu. Um, that's and we'll save that. Okay, close now with the cats menu, we should be able to go into it and have a few more options in that. Ah, <laughs> what's it doing to me? 
Um, Mm -hmm. oh, but it's not published. Publish. Oh, dang it. See, I'm right back where I started. Hang on, Paul. Okay, I'm back. I don't know what I was doing before, but anyway, I'm under menu items now. Now we'll make a new one. Alt cats. Right, this is the right screen. The menu item type, okay, is here. Select. And it's going to be an article. A single article. Right, then we tell it what the single article is. So we go to select. Takes us to our list of articles. And it's going to be cats. And now... You should be right unless I've selected the wrong thing there. So we'll save it and we'll invalid menu. Hang on. Main menu. Save. There we go. So main menu it wanted. Now we'll go and check it. Okay. So now we've got chickens, dogs, cats. Click on cats. Cats are not dogs. Okay. Ah, thank God for that. It actually bloody worked. I think I selected the wrong. Instead of creating a new menu item, I did something wrong before. But, you know, that's that's pretty much it. Uh, that That's the basics of it. You're creating content. Um, uh, you're creating content in the form of articles that just like any page has text and images or you know, a video embedded in it and that sort of thing. Um, and you're making some kind of link that goes to it. Now, if we go back to our menu, let me close this. Go back to our menus. Uh, we can change the order of things. So we can say that straight after uh, home, or we do it like this, straight after home, we want cats. So if we publish, I think that should work. There we go, cats is straight away after after that. Let's just make sure I haven't made a mistake. New dogs up there, go and check our website. Dogs, okay, so we can shift them around and then we can do things like say, uh, I want dogs to be a drop down menu of home. Now, this is where I could end up in trouble again. Uh, okay, I want it to be a menu item of home. Okay, and save this. Let's see what happens. Your Joomla. Okay, so one's disappeared. Ah, but if we go there, it's in the drop-down menu. Okay, so, you know, uh, organising your menus and so on, you know, the order of them and having uh, having a drop-down or not drop-down, not, not too hard. And look, there's some other options that you can play with here too as well. A lot of this stuff um, you don't need, you know, it's, it's like a lot of programs just... There's loads and loads of options. You don't need most of them. And if you do, you, you, if you think, well, it should be able to do this, you'll be able to look it up on the internet. There'll be somewhere on the internet that tells you how to do things. Um, we'll have, though, a quick look at a couple of other things before I nick off. Um, extensions. Now, this is where, let's see if we can get back to, all the way back to Joomla. There we go, Joomla.org. Joomla there we go. Um, let's go to download and extend. Let's go to extensions. Uh, now, this is where you can go 
um, browse extensions. Let's see, top rated, for instance. And these are what's going to give you that extra functionality. So there's a form builder. Forms are always handy to have on your site. Uh, in this case, it's probably one that you pay for. No, it says it's free. That'd be worth checking out. There was always crappy form builders when I was first playing with it. You had to really jump through hoops to make them work. Um, here's a gallery. This one's free. Uh, you can click on that. And often there's an example. So we might get a screenshot of it here. I don't know why the internet's running so slow today. We've probably got 10 fucking TVs going here, all playing My Little Pony. Um, okay, so it tells you what it is. Tell it gives you an example of all the things that you can do to it. This is you can even load video. So this is another fancy one. This is free. It wasn't a good one around when I wanted one. Yeah. Anyway, there's a, usually always um, it'll tell you over here whether it's free. It says the license is GPL, which is I can't remember the name of now, but it's free. Free to download. You can download it there and then you download it as a zip and then you go into your extensions and you install it and then <clears throat> then you can tell it you know when you're making a, an article you can tell it which page you want the extension to work on so here's an example of this is how uh this works i like to see this one youtube I didn't have anything nice like that. Okay, so now we've got all these YouTube videos. That's pretty cool. That's really cool. Okay, so we'll go back. Um, there'll be a virtual uh, shopping cart in there. We'll search for it in a second. Um, I'm search. Uh, Virtue Mart. Okay, I'm pretty sure this is a hundred percent free. Choice choice of professionals. Been used bloody everywhere. Loads and loads of options. And this is how, as you'll find out with Jumor, it gets around code, is that there's ten million fucking options for everything. Um now, and people have made plugins for it to give this extra functionality. Usually the plugins are not for Look, it gives us inven uh, stock inventory, or stock warnings, uh, prices, uh, works out currency and all that sort of jazz. And you can get that and install that as an extension as well. Going back to here, so extension, so we can manage and install uh, modules, Modules are a bit different to extensions. Modules will do funky things like animate your text and a few other things. You'll find out. Uh, let's see, banners. Now, now components. You, you, your web page is made up of components. So we've got banners here. Banner goes across the top uh, and so on. Um, we can update Joomla here. Uh, in content, we've got articles. Yeah, character, categories, I can't bloody remember what that's all about. Um, media. I think that might be where you um, load in your pictures. Menus. Okay, we've had a look at menus now. And content, we at least looked at um, articles. Uh, users. This is where you can set up um, users or user groups to come in and manage certain pages. Uh, and then you've got your system control panel. And this is something you don't generally play with, but occasionally you have to. Um, oh, hang on. Is it the control panel? Is it the panel? I don't know. Anyway, yeah, stay away from that system information. Yes, okay. Look, at the moment, um, oh, clear cache is something. You know, if you think something should do something and it's not working, try clearing the cache. Um, because it just gets rid of any crap that's running in the background. Yeah, so, yes, lots to look at, but really, making articles, menus, and that's about it.
and I think I can even uh, after this I can even send you a link to my site because it's just um, let's see what's up here jessicasdad.joomla.com copy that and send it to you and um, that'll be it I'll make a video out of this bye